Welcome to another video by Lame Creations, Log Analysis Made Easy. This is a video playlist. If you jumped in in the middle, look down below in the uh, the additional information, the, det the message down below, and you will see the link to the entire playlist. You can watch all of these. This video is not to make you an expert on the, uh, the comp files, but we are going to focus on props and transforms and primarily what I would want to know in a job interview uh, at a high level. And so this is basically a review of these two config files in some of the most important settings. And this video is going to be unlike any of the others. I'm actually not going to go into props.conf or transforms.conf, either one of them. And I'm going to combine them together. But the big thing I want to do is set up the difference that you can uh, talk uh, talk about them at a high level. Props.conf, that is the rules. It says, hey, I've got this source type. You're, anytime you have a source type, you're going to find a props that are associated with it. And that source type parses the data. It says I'm going to find timestamps. I'm going to break the data apart because it's a CSV, because it's a key value, because it's space delimited, whatever the case may be. Those, It's going to set the rules and say this is how I'm going to display the data. Transforms is actually doing that work. So it's going to say, oh, I need to do this, this, and this. All right, well, maybe I'll pull the appropriate transforms to make that occur. A really good example of that is I'll set the rule that in props, when I see a social security number, I want it X'd out. Transforms is where I'm going to do write the regex statement, etc., to make that replacement occur. Prop sets the rules, transforms enforces it, transforms does the work. So props will basically, when we look at things like this, I actually, one of the ways I want to explain some of the things you can do with props is I actually came in here to settings, add data, and I loaded up a file. And if you come here and you can see set source type, remember what I said, source types and props, you're gonna have a props for all your source types. And in that props, we can see some of the rules that are going to go in, like how do we do timestamps? Are we going to use the current time, advanced settings? Come in here, timestamp format, timestamp fields generally, but the, the ruling of how you're going to do the timestamps is going to be set in the props. You may end up changing it based on the transforms, may end up being the tool that does the magic, but props will set how you read timestamps from the fields. The delimited settings, are we delimiting by commas, by pipes, by tabs, by spaces? That's going to be called out in your props. Uh, what are quote characters? Things like that are single quotes, double quotes. File preambles, that would be set. Field names, if you're going to go set field names, You would be. it's a prop setting. Advanced, I might change the character set. The line breakers. The, whether it's using key value mode, things like that, the category, what, um, and basically how that source type is stored, whether it be structured, giving a description, those are all props settings. And the transforms does a lot of the work. So, for example, if I go and change, um, there are some things I can add, apply settings, new settings. I might put and I might put some regex, you might find that in the transforms. But basically, they are really props and transforms are go hand in hand together. You can't work one without the other, but the basically prop sets the rules as a general rule and transforms does the work. Anyway, so that is props and transforms at a high level. Just remember, it's in charge of how your data is displayed. If your data is not displaying correctly, or you want to make modifications to the way your data is displayed, it's going to be done in the props and the transforms settings. Anyway, I hope that helps you from moving from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja. If you're liking this, give a thumbs up, join the channel, uh, become a member. Uh, membership gives you a lot of perks that you, the everyday user doesn't get. You'll get uh, exposure to early videos. You'll get the ability to get training that is not available to the public. We've got system administration training for Splunk. We've got hunting, search and reporting. We've got a bunch of different trainings and we continue to roll out. The goal is to roll out uh, 
additional trainings monthly that is not available to the public anyway uh and that's only available if you join the channel but i hope you like it you keep coming back and that this stuff is useful and we'll hope to see you around